You like this? It's a pocket knife I got from my uncle. It's really shiny. What's up guys, Dylan Fulmer here, and today I'm going to talk to you about what gear I used previously and what gear I use now to make my YouTube videos and to take photographs. I hope you find this video helpful and informative. I don't have an intro. I just, I don't have one yet. I could say I'm working on it, but <laughs> that would be a lie because I'm not. To start off, I used to shoot my YouTube videos with the Canon Rebel T5. It can shoot in 1080p at 24 and 30 frames a second, but it is not ideal for video. There's no flip around screen and it is not compatible with a mic. If you've seen my first 17 videos, or at least any of them, you would know that the sound is super doo-doo. In my opinion, it's not too bad for photography. It can shoot in JPEG and RAW, which I think every single regular DSLR and mirrorless camera can do that. It features an 18 megapixel sensor. The only lens I have for the T5 is an 18 to 55 millimeter with an f-stop of 3.5 to 5.6. Here are some photographs that I've taken with the 18 to 55. Take a look. I edited these photos in Lightroom, which is now one of my favorite things to use. To prove that I'm a beginner, I just started shooting in RAW. I guess it's been about a month now. I can imagine the professional photographers watching this and saying, a whole new world. Yes, shooting in RAW is awesome. It makes it so much easier to edit the photos in Lightroom. The T5 is great, but it's my old camera. I now use the Canon M50. It features a 24.1 megapixel sensor. I don't know why they threw the .1 in, but whatever. It is compatible with microphones and it has a flip around screen. Among other things, it can shoot at 24 to 30 and 60 frames a second in 1080p. So it can be used as a B-roll camera. I have two lenses for the M50. The first one is the EFM 15 to 45 millimeter with an f-stop of 3.5 to 5.6. As far as kit lens go, goes? As far as kit lens go? As far as it goes for, <laughs> it's a kit lens, but it works really well. I just received another lens in the mail for the M50. It's the EFM 22mm with an f-stop of 2. I like this lens a lot. I've only used it a few times, but I'm pretty satisfied. I'm currently shooting this video with the 22mm. I love using the M50 for cinematography or just video and photography. Here are some photos that I've taken with the M50, and these are all with the kit lens. For the M50 and the T5, I do carry extra batteries just in case. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. The microphone that I use for the M50 is the Comica CVM V30 Lite. It's on the lower end of microphones, but it's still better than the built-in one that the camera has. And if you don't believe me, here's a little test. If sound was measured in pixels, this would be way less than 720p. Tripods. I have several tripods that I use in various situations. This is the Manfrotto PIXI mini tripod. Come to think of it, that might be some sort of Roman numeral, but I don't care enough to look into it. As far as larger tripods go, I use this guy. This is the Velbon VideoMate 300. I got this tripod from a friend over a year ago for $5, and it's worked. The tripod I'm currently filming on is the Ravelli. That's the only thing I could find on it, so, yep. Camera bags. The camera bag that I use is the Canon Photo Deluxe 200 EG. I got the backpack as part of a Christmas deal, and I really like it. It has a lot of space. I can fit both of my cameras in it. I don't have a drone, a giant camera, or a gimbal to carry around, but it fits all of my stuff. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I always enjoy seeing what other photographers use, whether it's Canon, Pentax, Sony, whatever they use. And it's always nice to see a good-looking thumbnail with stuff from someone's camera bag just strewn about. Some cameras just look good. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos of me talking, and have a good day.